Hi, my name is Joel Chan. I'd like to tell you a bit about the work I've done with my student, John, on managing context during synthesis. To set the stage, let me describe a situation that's probably familiar to you as a researcher. You have a question of interest, like do moderate political candidates harm or boost electoral chances? You have evidence on the one hand that says one thing, and evidence on the other hand that says the opposite, both with a ton of citations behind them. You then have a difficult task of trying to resolve these inconsistencies and come up with a novel answer. Often, to resolve this, you will need to dig into the details and context of the evidence behind these statements, not just the citations themselves. For example, what country or state was this research done in? Was this in the primary or general election? What party was studied? What time period? And what effect sizes were observed? And so on and so forth. This example illustrates how context, auxiliary information that's necessary for interpreting or appraising information, such as metadata and provenance, is necessary for synthesis, which is producing a novel conceptual whole that clarifies or resolves inconsistencies in parts. In general, CSUW literature has established that context is necessary for novel knowledge reuse across boundaries. The same literature has also established that context can be challenging to capture or manage, which can lead to downstream issues. A lot of this foundational work has been done in diverse domains outside of synthesis work, such as HR records, technical support, healthcare, and steelwork. Less is known about how these challenges play out in synthesis specifically. So, as a first step towards designing tools for synthesis, we conduct descriptive work to understand how scholars currently capture or manage context during synthesis. To explore this, we recruited four PhD students, we strapped the GoPro to their heads, and we observed them for 45 minutes doing their own synthesis work with their own tools. Half of them used what we call generic tools like OneNote and Google Docs, and half of them use what we call specialized tools like Liquid Text and NVivo. This allowed us to explore variations in context patterns and system mechanics by tool. So, what did we find? One result we found interesting was remarkably similar process patterns across the diverse tools. For example, one pattern was integrating context into an excerpt, such as including metadata in a highlight or directly typing it out, such as the page number. In specialized tools, context was also integrated into, into these excerpts through embedded metadata. Another common pattern we observed was using ideas, concepts, and findings as context for each other, making explicit connections such as drawing lines between highlights or notes in generic tools or more sophisticated schemes like grouping excerpts together in NVivo, or making direct connections between excerpts and annotating them on a canvas in liquid text. There were also notably different system mechanics. For example, in NVivo, users were able to peek around the context of an excerpt, have metadata embedded in the excerpt, or follow a hyperlink back to the source location of the excerpt in a single click. Similarly, in liquid text, users were able to have metadata embedded in the source of the excerpt, as well as a means of hyperlinking back to the source location to recover even more context in a single click. So, what does it all mean? First, we think the common process patterns of context capture suggest primitive operations to design for, such as integrated context capture and connecting ideas with each other. Secondly, we think that the differences in system mechanics can be usefully described under the umbrella of hypertext mechanics like transclusion. If these differences in mechanics turn out to be consequential, these hypertext mechanics might be promising design primitives to design with. In summary, we conducted detailed in situ observations of synthesis and observed similar process patterns, different system mechanics, which points to potential design primitives for context support for scholarly knowledge synthesis. Thank you.